What up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and we have a full kiln of completely finished pots that we are gonna unload. You wanna see? I was just gonna show you, I took a couple pictures of before because we got some interesting stuff in here. Interesting things. The before of some of these, ooh yeah, nice. See that? Heart, Valentine's Day is coming up. Got your Valentine's Day presents? So all that stuff is in the kiln. We're gonna check it out right now. Do you guys miss the intro? I used to have an intro where it's like Then I just like kind of stopped doing it because sometimes it doesn't really fit. Do you miss it? Comment below. Tell me if you miss it. All right, let's unload this thing. So it seems like my habits have really been glass coasters on the top because they take up like no room, so they're sweet. So we got some some glass coasters. Got some more glass coasters, and then this is a little tea. I'm always trying to think of new ways to use this glass, you know, because it's not food safe. Don't use it for anything that would be used in a food setting. But like a little candle, I thought if you put a little candle on here that it would just like kind of light that up. Bunch more glass coasters. There's one that I just like splattered blue in there. I don't know, I'm getting, getting weird, getting weird with those. They're so, they're just, they're so quick to make. I just have one. Here's some. So, after Christmas, more glass coasters. After Christmas, we completely sold out of all of our Minnesota mugs. We have no Minnesota mugs on the shelf right now. So, we kinda gotta get back into making those. So, tree, tree. I kinda got a different little handle on there too. It's not quite as thick, it's just more of a circle. Do that every once in a while. Switch up the handles. It's a big bowl. That worked out pretty sweet. I put a little red on the back there. That worked out kind of sweet. That's really interesting. Honor of the Valentine's Day holiday coming up. Got a few heart mugs. And then, oh, this one. So this one I just painted red. And I also put a little red in there too, which that like actually looks pretty cool, I think. What do you think? What do you think of that little red in there? I'm obviously getting a little, going a little crazy with that red. There's a pink one with a red heart and the Mocha Monkey logo. That's pretty cool. And then I also put that red in there too. This has just got those little touches of red. I can't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should keep doing that red. I'm, I'm torn. It's kind of cool because it's like, maybe just little tiny bits of it. That one I painted all the way around and might be a little too much, but. I don't know if it fits. I cannot, I can't. Minnesota mugs. Minnesota. Minnesota mug. Oh, there, this is for a patron of mine. So I got a patron that signed up for uh, the highest tier and the highest tier is a custom mug. So she wanted a mug with a heart in California with a dash line to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, I like it. That, that glazes in a very fine, very fine form. Good old mug with a little bit of that red in there. See that? I really like when it's, that one is sweet actually. I, that's like the perfect amount of red for me. Just just real little, little, little flex. The last thing we got is our 20 ounce mugs for Mocha Monkey. Boom. And I gotta test and see if they are indeed 20 ounces, but 
I would hope they were. The first bass that I did were like 24 ounces, so. Oh, there's a, there's one for my buddy Mike with a little monkey on the back. And then this, this custom Mocha Monkey mug project is pretty much done. They got it, they've gotten much better too. These ones that I'm bringing out at the end are much better than the ones I, whoa, did at the beginning. Sweet. That's it guys, that is it for this kill number something. Yo, what are we doing today? So this weekend, I have my first, well it's not my first, but it is a videographer gig. So I am videoing a snowmobile show. The biggest vintage snowmobile show in the Midwest, in the world. I think it's the biggest in the whole entire world. And so, whew, it's freezing out here. It's gonna be so cold. But what I'm doing right now is I'm testing this mic to see how well it blocks the wind. Whoo, Jesus. Oh man, I hope it's not this cold. It's gonna be. The high next week is negative 11. That's the high. It's supposed to get down to negative 24 degrees. Okay, serious question though for the YouTube channel. I've been thinking a lot about, cause I've obviously gotten super into making videos, right? Like I, I love making videos, I love making pottery videos, I love pottery, but there's also some other things in my life that I love like wakeboarding, boating, like being outside in the summer. And so my question is, I have a personal channel, just a, a YouTube channel called John Schmidt and that's I, if you wanna see like some super old videos. I have a couple videos up on there. So I'm thinking about having a second channel that is more dedicated to every, anything else, like wakeboard videos, biking videos, like the snowmobile show, I'm gonna put the videos up on that channel. So my question is for you, like, do you think that I should just have one channel, John the Potter, and I can put up whatever videos I want, wakeboard videos, boating videos, snowmobile videos, like just random videos. And they're not like tutorials, they're not about pottery, they're just about stuff other stuff that I'm into. Or should I have it be a separate channel? I'm like, I'm really 50-50, I could go either way. I mean, it totally makes sense to have it be a separate channel, but it's also kind of a lot of work to run two channels. So comment below, tell me what you think. Do you, do you think that I should just upload whatever videos I want to John the Potter and whatever? Or should I keep it like this pottery cent central channel? I wanna know, I, I really, I can't, there's pros and cons to both, and I'm having a hard time deciding. So I want your help, I want your feedback. Comment below, tell me what you think. Oh. All right, I think that's it. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you in the next one. Go on an adventure. Shoo.